everybody! Today I am going to be doing a review on As Long As The Lemon Tree Grows by Zulfa Kata. So hi! My name is Talia. I love books. I love bandanas. I'm so happy you're at my channel today. Um, I finished As Long As The Lemon Tree Grows recently. Um, this was a book of the month pick, so that's how it came to my attention, and I really ended up enjoying it. This is a YA historical fiction, not that historical though, because it takes place in his, in Syria um, around the years like 2011, 12, 13, 14, so about 10 years ago is when um, this took place. Um, the author is Syrian Canadian who is currently based in Switzerland. And she said that she wrote this book because when um, she would meet people and say that she was Syrian, people were just kind of like, oh, Syria, cool. Like, what's up with that? Um, and they really had no idea what was going on in Syria as a country and what the people have gone through there. Um, so she wrote this book to bring light to that in a beautiful, beautiful way. Um, so as I mentioned, it's YA, um, so written kind of for the younger audience. However, I thought it was super well written for adults as well. Um, it had enough um, impactful, serious, scary moments um, to make it feel very real, but I feel like it also didn't overdo it. I feel like sometimes books can just be overly graphic for the sake of being overly graphic and I didn't feel like this um, this did that. So we have our main character named Salama and she was in pharmacy school when the Syrian revolution started um, and she ends up at this point in time, um, her town has been attacked um there has been like many of the buildings reduced to rubble um her family home has been destroyed her mother has been killed her brother and father have been um taken away into some sort of prison um for um just being citizens and wanting to be free um and she is living with her sister-in-law um who is also her best friend and um She's working not as a pharmacist, but as basically like a surgeon in the hospital. Like there's been so much death and destruction and violence that anyone um, who can has to help in the hospital. Anyone that was in the medical field at all. It's like all hands on deck. Like there's people coming in left and right with all these terrible um, wounds. And even though she's not really qualified at all, she has to like be helping save these people's lives. And she's witnessing like traumatic amounts of death and um, has witnessed, you know, the death of her family and she's just kind of in a bad place mentally. Um, so she actually, as part of her um, post-traumatic stress, has created or her mind has created this like imaginary friend um, that is with her um, spontaneously throughout the days and a lot of times at night. And when I first heard this going into the book, I was like, is this going to be just weird and cheesy? Like, what is this going to be like? but it really wasn't. Like, she knows that this character is imaginary. She knows that like, he is trying to help her, um, but yet also he shows her like terrible things and terrible visions and she wants to get rid of him. But he, during this time, is trying to convince her to leave Syria. He's like, you need to leave, you need to get out of here, your mother's dead, your family is in bad shape, like, you need to go, like, it's time to go. And she's like, but, I don't know if I should go like I had this love for my country and I'm trying to save these people and help them and I have my sister here like what should we like what should I do and it's kind of like this back and forth she's having um like with this imaginary character um and again it sounds a little bit cheesy when I'm talking about it now I'm like hmm, I'm telling you it was so well done um so then she ends up meeting another um, guy about her age she's pretty young by the way like maybe 19, 20 ish, like in very young adult. Um, she ends up meeting another guy and saves his sister. Basically he ends up weighing into her decision of, should I leave? Should I stay? Like, what are the risks to me? You know, trying to flee the country. Is that abandoning everything we believe in? Um, or is it just like trying to, you know, keep myself alive? Um, so it was so well done. I feel like this really made me stop and think like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this stuff was happening like very recently in my lifetime. Um, I did some research 
just um, about this time period after I read this book and I feel like this lines up pretty well with um, what was going on and um, it's just so sad and I feel like it'll really make you stop and think about how lucky you are to be living where you're living if you're not living in a place that's being completely bombed and people just coming in and dropping um, chemical gases on you um, we're talking some really some really gnarly stuff that these people went through so I'm so so thankful um, for this author writing this book and um, doing it in a way that even kids can learn like I will be reading this one to my kids um, not right now because they're five and four um, but eventually this will be one I keep on my shelves to share with them so they're aware of what's going on in the world um, and this was just such so beautifully written it had like um, the analogy of lemon trees because lemon trees grow throughout their um, throughout their cities there and just memories of growing up with the lemon trees and wanting to come back to the lemon trees someday and it was just I felt like it was beautifully written really well done um, I believe this is was her debut I think it is her debut um, novel so I'm super curious to see where she goes from here and if she gives us some more um, I would love to read some more um, historical fiction about about that time period and about Syria so yeah definitely recommend this one five stars if you can get your hands on a copy do it um, library wherever um, I think you will not be disappointed with this one that's all I have to share with you today I hope you are doing well wherever you are I hope you take some time today to read a good book or two and if you are having a bad hair day just wear a bandana bye Thank you.